um, are we a bit drowsy like three topics in a row two purely technical one a bit general maybe philosophical so i think good afternoon respected principal dr p c meerandan vice principal dr chiku ibrahim heads especially dr manoj george uh, faculty my supporters from mechanical engineering and all friends it's been a while since i graced a platform uh, it's been a while in the sense for the last 7 years to be very frank so coming up with a topic like this i would like to thank our principal for coming up with a venture as, as well as a, a vice principal for coming up a, coming up with a venture like uh, synergy uh, where you can share your ideas synergy is like um, one plus one is greater than two and you just type synergy meaning on your google search box the first example or the image which comes is one plus one is greater than two where you can share your ideas you can build something instead of working individually uh, i know this is purely technical because sir has already raised a concern i should say when we had a discussion in the morning but i don't have any other alternative to be very frank this is a part of my research uh, as my friend just said that i'm doing research in parallel uh, at iit madras and uh, so might be a bit boring please okay fine so i'm hari hari krishnan uh, it's been a while like uh, it's been exactly a month since i joined this institute uh, it's been a while since i this is my second term i was with scms school of engineering technology 7 years ago and then i went to join iit madras for phd uh yeah i should thank one more person uh, mr jubi joseph who has been an inspiration because when this thing came up when dr manoj george approached me for this like one day before he asked me a question regarding this nozzle and i thought like acha then i would take up this topic and then explain uh, he is currently teaching a subject in the fourth semester of mechanical engineering uh, thermal engineering 1 which focuses on the thermal or maybe thermodynamics so it's not absolutely mechanical chemical engineers metallurgy specialists physicists uh, people from physics chemistry um and may, maybe aerospace to some extent they can show interest so homogeneous condensation in a converging diverging nozzle uh, dr pradeep monti ji department of innovation mission thank you sir thank you so much uh, i don't have to spend time on this okay i'll, I'll move to the next one so how do i begin uh, homogeneous condensation there is a small change in the topic like the first two ter- terms i have taken out non equilibrium all are technical but still homogeneous means it's like it's i think chemical people would be more familiar with that e- even civil engineers uh, homogeneous condensation converging diverging nozzle three relevant terms from the title condensation is quite familiar i can see some happy faces please keep aside your drowsiness i have only 18 slides it's a crisp presentation okay so what is condensation can anybody tell me okay i'm not taking time okay in simple terms you say phase change from gas to liquid phase p h a s e phase phase change so you have four states of matter earlier you you, you might have learned uh, solid liquid gas apart from that you have plasma as well so gas to liquid vapor to liquid what is the difference between vapor and a gas okay so i have so many questions if i had some like an hour or something for this i would have done but okay fine uh, so condensation is a process where you encounter a phase change where a gas gets converted to liquid where you can see liquid droplets droplets are always beautiful to experience everyone loves rain irrespective of the age irrespective of the gender 
so you finally notice liquid droplets that is your end result focusing on condensation the simplest definition i could give you homogeneous you have only one phase homogeneous the opposite is heterogeneous so you have more than one phases when you have a combination of a maybe a solid and a gas something like solid particles dispersed or maybe dispersed in liquid or something you have heterogeneous condensation which i'm not focusing on for the moment but homogeneous condensation in a converging diverging nozzle what is a nozzle okay fine. is it topic really interesting only for mechanical engineers for mechanical engineers i don't know they have to tell me maybe after this presentation you can spot a smile now for the moment okay this is the first slide second slide yeah conversion of a vapor or a gas into a liquid now i am traveling through the title conversion of a vapor or a gas into a liquid example i have given a basic example condensation on a glass glass means normal glass where you take you take tea coffee and all these things juice so when you have a glass with sufficient juice cold juice and you come out or you carry it for some point of time what happens is the air air surrounding the glass definitely it carries water vapor it has water content that vapor what a vapor is it vapor condenses into liquid droplets and surrounds this glass the moment you come out of a of an air conditioned room at times it happens glasses spectacles so basic example second one what is homogeneous condensation i have a flow chart for this uh can i go to the next slide okay fine okay uh i have two types of condensation uh, at present i'm focusing only on homogeneous so homogeneous condensation heterogeneous condensation preceded by liquid droplet nucleation so liquid okay familiar term droplet familiar term now what is nucleation nucleate nucleate means a new phase is being formed phase phas -E. not this one that nucleation is split into two homogeneous and heterogeneous so it is the budding stage you can say the budding stage homogeneous means you have only one phase means you have a maybe a substance maybe water or something water vapor which condenses it is in superheated form you can leave that term right now superheated leave it liquid droplet nucleation entirely within a superheated vapor leave that superheated term within a vapor so superheated is related to temperature i am not bringing up difficult terms complicated terms everything is very familiar temperature of the vapor is like more than the saturation temperature for water at one atmospheric pressure you have 100 degrees centigrade that is your saturation point uh, boiling point you say the other one heterogeneous as i said earlier you have another phase which is usually solid and uh, you have this liquid droplets being formed on the solid surface so you have two phases two different materials materials and substance whatever you can say you are concerned with the phase at a lower temperature so i will be teaching you or maybe telling you something about homogeneous condensation which is a part of my research and uh, that too in a nozzle okay i'm not talking about any other geometry why i took a nozzle i can tell you in detail okay now why a nozzle yeah awaiting a query on the working media okay why a nozzle nozzle if you want to see what a nozzle is you have a hose h o s e hose water hose discharge can you see that black part at the end the converging part i said converging diverging nozzle the converging part this discharges water at a at an appreciable velocity so there is an increase in velocity 
velocity of water velocity means in the normal okay you can say speed both are different actually so when the velocity of water once it passes through this black portion of the holes that is the nozzle there is a sufficient pressure drop two properties come into picture pressure and velocity pressure comes down velocity goes up how there is an equation behind that no equations for the moment okay so at the end or at the exit you have um liquid or maybe water at a higher velocity when compared to the velocity through the tube or maybe at the inlet of the nozzle uh, there are three terms uh, three things three reasons why i have taken this the ma uh, major reason is or the sole reason is it's a simple geometry geometry is very simple when you draw there are civil engineers here mechanical engineers here when you draw this geometry like it's very easy to draw you have a converging part you have a throat three parts are there you have a throat throat is normally the end the one which has the minimum cross sectional area and then you have a diverging part which is not shown here second or the um, reasons which come into picture maybe technical reasons are like you have high velocities at the exit mark number mark number is a dimensional number it, it doesn't carry in a dimension doesn't have any unit it is actually velocity of the flow whole divided by velocity of the sound sonic velocity then the final reason is expansion 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 is connected with pressure drop when you expand you have an increase in the volume so definitely pressure actually it's not like very close in fact you have a relief general terms relief so there is a pressure relief or maybe a pressure drop now um converging diverging nozzle this is the picture so i was giving you three parts it was split into three you have the inlet the throat and the exit the converging part the throat and the diverging part you know that there is a there is actually a hello yeah there is actually a uh, uh, i think a time our glass you say our glass where you have sand inside it and then you when you do an activity you keep this thing turn it and then check like how much time does it take to complete an activity so it's similar to that maybe in a horizontal fashion uh you have an inlet from the inlet to the throat uh there is a pressure drop and then followed by a velocity increase or maybe velocity goes up velocity go, goes up from the inlet to the exit uh in the previous picture now there is a huge difference between a normal nozzle which doesn't carry a diverging part and which carries a diverging part in a normal nozzle converging nozzle you say um the mach number is always less than 1 to be more precise it is less than 0.3 means the flow is incompressible it's not compressible compressible flow means mach number should be greater than 0.3 0.3 means 0.3 so you have this range when i have mach number equals 1 velocity of the flow by velocity of the sound are same uh when it is less than 1 velocity of sound dominates when it is greater than 1 uh, the numerator dominates that is velocity of flow so why why like the red color curve it's it, it is denoted by t t is temperature red color in the sense at the exit sorry at the inlet of the nozzle you have an a very hot medium working medium it expands you have a pressure drop and till the exit you have a you have a substantial pressure drop and a substantial increase in velocity hence mach number uh, sorry the velocity the blue color curve goes up it's it's easy to understand but i said there are there is physics behind this you have to go through the equations but there are other engineers as well so i don't want to bring up equations here and the final term is pressure so pressure is dropping uh, velocity is going up temperature also is coming down so you have a hot gas when it comes towards the end of this nozzle you have a uh, you have the medium at a lower temperature okay so this is the principle of uh, the nozzle mach number for compressible flow cases is greater than 0.3 
it can go beyond one uh, you say subsonic sonic supersonic hypersonic hypersonic is like above five or something so between three and six it's um, so like um, sorry above one it's supersonic and above five or above three it's hypersonic between 0.8 and 1.2 it's transonic all these are technical terms related to this now to the blue box to accelerate a hot pressurized gas pressurized gas means pressure when compared to the exit is at a higher value hot from temperature itself you understood passing through it to a higher supersonic speed supersonic means Mach number is greater than one in the axial direction by converting the heat energy of the flow into kinetic energy so heat energy of the flow temperature is coming down heat energy related to temperature it's coming down thermal energy and the kinetic energy is going up because velocity is going up so kinetic energy has to go up half mv square now yeah this is the um, working medium steam steam is a form of uh, steam is okay vapor you can say uh, of, uh, like uh, liquid water ice liquid water water vapor steam is like something in a superheated form superheated form so um, i used see sorry i use steam why i use steam why i use steam i was telling you i was te i didn't tell you anything about my working medium i didn't say anything about my fluid maybe people might have presumed it's air but it's not actually air i was working on uh, steam and i said uh, i didn't put it in the title it's actually a steam nozzle it's not a normal what do you say something through which air you see in your uh, spacecraft space engines and all uh, turbo jet turbo fan all these things not related to space it's related to uh, steam or steam power stations steam power plants so i'm using steam which is actually superheated superheated means i said condition above the boiling point one atmosphere is 100 corresponds to 100 degree centigrade so superheated should be like a temperature which is above that particular boiling point might be 120 140 or something but pressure remains constant for a particular pressure you have only one saturation temperature that is the boiling point for one atmosphere you have 100 degree centigrade here you have one atmosphere if you go to Munar, you have a lower atmospheric pressure so water boils at a temperature less than 100 it is directly proportional when you encounter high altitudes pressure goes down so once pressure goes down you have a lower boiling point i'm talking with respect to water which is our reference fluid now what is the difference between uh, this is just a picture uh, like uh, you are heating something you're boiling something inside a kettle so you can see steam but this is not superheated superheated means you don't have water content in that uh, you don't have water vapor in that or you don't ha have uh, some liquid droplets in that to be more uh, accurate superheated versus saturated i just explained saturated is boiling point so superheated means something about that did i forget subcooled form subcooled is uh yeah not jumping into this um, i don't want to push this further i have um uh, maybe everyone boils water like everyone knows how to boil water heat up heat water so what you have you have water at around 20 degrees centigrade you have atmospheric pressure inside your kitchen you keep heating the water 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 so before it reaches 100 you can see bubbles coming up maybe number of drop uh, bubbles might be less when compared to the 100 degree centigrade level once it reaches 100 or once it reaches its saturation point a boiling point you may not be reaching that point but still you can see bubbles like uh, uh, like coming out in large numbers so that is called this point where you have yeah i marked there you have temperature plotted against volume volume you are heating water liquid so you, ha you have that red line red line is actually the constant pressure line pressure should be kept constant when you heat a liquid when you heat a liquid when you cool a liquid you need to keep pressure constant so pressure is constant that is the red curve you keep heating the water i mean the liquid it's water here once it reaches 100 degree centigrade you encounter this mountain where you have uh, two phases at 100 degree line the horizontal line 100 degree on the left end you have only one phase 
where you haven't uh, encountered vapor still uh, I mean vapor till now vapor means sufficient amount in bulk quantity but once you start traveling across the line you have two phases like taking a balance water comes down water uh, sorry liquid water comes down and vapor or maybe water vapor goes up or this gas phase starts to dominate so once you reach uh, the right end of that horizontal line you have completely vapor then beyond that you have superheated vapor yeah it's written there superheated vapor the other one is saturated mixture mixture means you have two phases okay it's purely thermodynamics um, thermodynamics is a subject so i think we are getting back to that drowsy state so i think i'll stop here for a minute thanks